This is the most congested area in the world, especially at the time that the helicopters are in service. That's an elected official in 1977, following a deadly helicopter accident atop what was then the Pan Am building in Midtown. While New York City helipads are a thing of the past, the debate still rages about helicopters in New York City. We have always heard concerns about flights over Manhattan, and on a day like today, where you can see the weather line is like, and we really want to, I think the thing I want to understand next is why is somebody allowed to be able to take off today, especially if it's a non-essential, non-emergency helicopter. The helicopter today, taking off from the East 34th Street heliport in bad weather, never made it to its destination, instead crashing on the roof of 787 7th Avenue. The pilot was killed. Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, who has repeatedly tried to ban non-essential helicopters from New York City's airspace, is renewing her call. I truly deeply believe that non-essential flight should be banned from New York City. From It is just too densely uh, populated. It is too dangerous. And there is absolutely no safe place to land. This is the latest chopper crash in a long list of accidents. Last month, a helicopter crashed into the Hudson River. The pilot was trying to land at the West 30th Street Pier when something went wrong. He survived. And last year, a tourism helicopter with the door off lost power and plunged into the East River. Five passengers died. Only the pilot survived. While Maloney said the definition of non-essential is up for debate, it could include executive and tourism flights. I feel like it's a safety issue and it just shouldn't be happening unless it's absolutely necessary. It's definitely like something that's alarming, you know, something that kind, kind of comes to mind. But, I mean, it's a... It's an easy way of travel, especially in the summer. If lawmakers move forward to regulate this industry here in New York City and push the FAA to regulate those helicopters, you can bet you're going to see pushback from the helicopter industry. Historically, in the past, they have done that, claiming that these flights, these tourism flights, even executive flights, they have added to New York City's economy. We're live on the east side. Allison Caden, Pix 11 News.